The first time Aaron called me, to me it sounded like he was from a different country. Everything he was saying sounded too good to be true. So in my mind, I pictured this man that was make-believer, could, couldn't possibly exist. He told me that he was going to ride bike to his mom's house to have dinner. And I lived in San Antonio, Texas. I was born in Chicago, Illinois, but I'd never, ever, ever heard anyone say that they would have dinner at 12 o'clock noon. Later, I learned that a little lunch is actually at four o'clock. So yes. Ow, guys, I always get this like itchiness. Something's like, it's like the the spring, the weather. So if you keep seeing me rub my face, that's, that's what's going on. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So Aaron, um, was everything I had been praying for. He was everything that I had been waiting for. So when he finally arrived, I just couldn't believe this was really happening. So we spoke on the phone and I was getting ready to head towards a, a retreat and I vividly remember thinking, I'm never gonna ever talk to this guy ever again. He just sounds too good to be true and I don't even wanna be you know, bothered with, uh, with this. And he just started, you know, texting me and sending me pictures and wanting me to talk to him. So then I started corresponding with him through texts and videos, not videos, sorry, pictures, <laughs> not videos. And then um, he told me, you know, um, please don't send me text messages because I get charged like 10 cents per or 25 cents, something like that, every time he texts me. And I was like, okay, I really didn't want to talk to this guy anyhow because it just sounds too good to be true. A guy that works, you know, four or five days a week and only spends time with his grandma and his mom. It just sounds too good to be true. I've only had one girlfriend, very close to his family. I just, I wasn't buying it. So I just stopped texting him I stopped calling him and then he he again you know started like hey I really want to talk to you you can text me if you want so the point of this story I'm kind of going in circles is that when you surrender an area of your life to the Lord God of heaven and earth you can rest assured that he is going to move in a very powerful and meaningful way for years I shared two stories prior to this one how I had been you know, chasing these young men that were, you know, platonic love, puppy love, ministry love. And I was just so invested in these relationships, wanting these boys and men to view me, you know, with, with certain eyes of appreciation and admiration and respect and devotion and love and commitment. And it just wasn't happening that when I finally found this guy, it just couldn't be real. I just couldn't accept it. And it wasn't until, honestly, I met Aaron's family in December of 2017 that I started to really believe, like, oh my gosh, my prayers could possibly finally be coming a reality, could be finally be made real for me. And he has been one of the most influential people in my life. It brings like tears to my eyes because I often call Aaron my earthly friend because Jesus is our best friend and our heavenly father is our main, you know, priority father, son, and Holy spirit. And he has brought us together and it's so beautiful and it's so amazing because he's such a great guy. Awesome guy. If you know, Aaron, you know, he is one in a million and that I am so utterly and extremely blessed 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 <laughs> to have him in my life so i just want to pray for you that if you are in search of a better body better finances better relationships better pay uh a husband a wife to have children to buy a house anything that you're searching for anything that you feel that you need to make your life more manageable more peaceful more meaningful the lord god has your best interest at heart and even when things don't go your way even when you know you're having issues with maybe saving the money or getting the loan or getting the education completed whatever it is just know that he has moved in your favor in the past and he will continue to do so in jesus mighty name 
So this is Suli from Ask Watsi, providing creative caring for your mind, body, soul, world, and heart. Besitos.